Almost every week, we take a look at actors or actresses who are up for a famous role, but for one reason or another, they didn't quite get it. Whether they've been better, worse, or just plain asinine. Yeah, that time Demosthenes auditioned to uh, actually be the Briar Patch from the. <laughs> It's my laughing place. What can I say? Boom. That'd be everybody's <laughs> laughing place anyway. <laughs> Our segment today is going to be about Lord of the Rings. Now, we did this before in the past when we looked at Sean Connery as Gandalf. But today we're going to look at a smaller character. The character being Eowyn, played by Miranda Otto. Now, she was in The Two Towers and Return the King. And by all means, she is as she proclaimed, no man. <laughs> now, before we get into who this other person could have been, um, what did you think of the character of Eowyn, and uh, what did you think of Miranda Otto's performance as the character? I mean, she fit the part. Uh, I, I, I kind of thought she was, I got that feeling of her being kind of shoehorned in in certain elements, but I, I really enjoyed what we got from her, right? Like she's, she's small in form, but capable like a lot of medieval uh, women were with weaponry and times of, of warfare and things like that. There's something I enjoyed about her having an appearance of, of kind of a small and silky, but devastating all at the same time. So no, I thought she fit the bill. I agree. She was, she was fantastic. Uh, it is, um, it is a, a smaller, but pivotal role. And I thought Miranda yeah, Otto point. played it very naturally. Which, yes. I, which I appreciated. She she felt very natural in the role. Um, however, the character well was offered to one Uma Thurman. No, of, and she she declined it due to her recent pregnancy. And to this day, she says it's one of her greatest regrets. Most notably on an episode of Stephen Colbert, where Colbert said that he would have played Eowyn if it was offered to him. <laughs> I actually think I saw that interview. And, and listen, while I speak on her point of view, I, I mean, listen, I, I get why they would have thought of her, not to mention blonde is a good look for her. Uh, for me, she doesn't look frail enough, right? Like the chick that, that 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 played the protagonist in Kill Bill should not be seen as somebody soft. Now granted, I don't think she had done that by this point, but the fact that she was ever even capable of it in my mind makes it not a fit, right? Her eyes and herself are such, they're just, they look powerful. Intense. They dig into you in a specific way that, you know, She's going to be as just an insurmountable force when you when you lock a gaze with her, let alone an actual battle sequence. Not to mention, I think she's uh, relatively tall. I mean, when I say tall, it's it's different for you know other people, but like you know, tall for somebody of her particular stature and and and, and um, uh, demographic, lacking a better term, meaning actors. Um, but no, you need a lot more innocence. Mia Wallace, Mia Wallace cannot play this role. You know what I'm saying, Demo? You need, you need, you need less poison ivy, more Miranda Otto. Um, I was trying, I was trying to, 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 to not evoke that sorry ass movie, but you broke that, didn't you, Demo? You're very, very welcome. Um, no, no, do not claim the Maui defense with me. Okay, <laughs> I will <laughs> most certainly use the Maui defense, but I will, I will agree with you, Uma Thurman. If you look at her filmography she has played softer more vulnerable characters and she's done it very very well the problem that i would have is the character of eowyn it comes uh, it's part of her arc it comes as a big surprise that she is the one that that ends up fighting standing up for herself and any and ends up defeating spoiler alert um for lord of the rings the Witch King. That's that's a big moment for that character, and it is uh, mm -hmm. for those who haven't read the book. It is a genuine surprise when she's the one that does it. That surprise will not land with me with Uma Thurman. So what you're trying to say? I is would that expect would land it from, from her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like like you would expect to see her when whenever you saw. That's a great way to put it, Demo. So let me let me echo that and just say it straight up. When the final battle. It takes place where she's protecting the hobbits and the witch king hits the battlefield you're already going to start thinking she's going to take him out isn't she yeah that's exactly that's a great way to put it i like it 
And it's it, it's not even just because of the, her acting capability, because once again, I think she can do it. But the the per, the perception of her as Presence, an actress yes. would work against the film. And it's un- right. it's unfortunate, but it's also a reality when it comes to actors of that stature. But I do want to ask because it popped in my head. I got a pop quiz for you, Kyle. Who would win in a fight? Sword fight now, proper sword fight. The bride from Kill Bill or Aragorn? I'm going to say the bride. Um, she uses a lot more finesse, a lot more movement. Aragorn's more of a brawler as a fighter. Uh, Viggo Mortensen actually said that very thing in in an interview uh, about the Lord of the Rings video game on PlayStation. Um, you didn't know that, did you, Demos? Ha, ah, take that. No, um, I'm not big video but, game guy unless it's unless actually, it's sixteen or thirty two bit. <laughs> I, um, yeah, okay. Um, well, I don't know. The, no, that technically would be I fall in more of the sixty four range, I guess, or higher. Actually, no, it was PlayStation two. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I mean, when he's talking about um, how each character in the game has a different fighting style. Legolas is obviously an art form, right? We're clear on that. Gimli's definitely much more of a tank, and he's just a brute strength. I have an axe, take that. I'll make you fireball kind of. You She'd know, have fighter. problem decapitating Gimli. I'll give, her, I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, well, uh, only because the armor, if nothing else. But um, Aragorn, it's not to say that he's a bad fighter. He picked up a few moves over 80 years. I get it. Um, but it's. It's something where I feel like there's so much more form and balance to her. Like I feel like I feel like an excellent face-off would be the Bride and Legolas. That'd be a lot tougher to decide. Am I saying that Legolas would beat Aragorn? No, um, because somehow I feel like the Bride is more physically imposing. Again, bringing back to Irma Thurman's, Irma Thurman's presence, I get the feeling that the Bride is more physically imposing than Legolas. Yeah, you know, on a weight class. Um... <clears throat> Well, actually, you can't even say weight class because elves are so light they can walk on top of snow. But <laughs> as far as like uh, physical stature, they're pretty much on par. Charlie says, I like the original actress. I don't think Uma Thurman could have carried it. Jim says, yeah, I agree with you and Kyle. Thurman has a more intense gaze. I think the original actress pulled it off well, of which there's a thumbs up. And Charlie says, that makes sense. You need an unknown actress for that role, especially if you haven't read the books, looks away in shame. Uh, You should read them. I definitely, I definitely recommend, um, uh, but keep, keep track of all the different strangely named characters. I think it'd be close. Aragorn and, and the bride Aragorn finds desperate and dirty and the bride fights smart. I think it'd be close. The bride fight's pretty desperate and dirty, too, though. I am about to say, you, you done forgot some shiz, didn't you? <laughs> Charlie says the bride easy. She's got a sword full. A sword, wait, she's got sword foo. Yes, she does. I mean, I'm not fronting on that. 